A Place of Refuge, September 27 Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Hebrews 13, 2 Our sympathies are to overflow the boundaries of self and the enclosure of family walls. There are precious opportunities for those who will make their homes a blessing to others. We are in a world of sin and temptation. All around us are souls perishing out of Christ, and God wants us to labor for them in every way possible. If you have a pleasant home, invite to it the youth who have no home, those who are in need of help, who long for sympathy and kind words, for respect and courtesy. Our homes should be a place of refuge for the tempted youth. Many there are who stand at the parting of the ways. Every influence, every impression is determining the choice that shapes their destiny both here and the hereafter. Evil invites them. Its resorts are made bright and attractive. They have a welcome for every comer. All about us are youth who have no home, and many whose homes have no helpful uplifting power, and the youth drift into evil. These youth need a hand stretched out to them in sympathy. If we would invite them to our homes and surround them with cheering, helpful influences, there are many who would gladly turn their steps into the upward path. The season of prayer makes its impressions on those who receive entertainment, and even one visit may mean the saving of a soul from death. Let visitors see that we are striving to conform to the will of Christ. The very atmosphere of a truly Christian home is that of peace and restfulness. Such an example will not be without effect. As you open your door to Christ's needy and suffering ones, you are welcoming unseen angels. You invite the companionship of heavenly beings. They bring a sacred atmosphere of joy and peace. They come with praises upon their lips, and an answering strain is heard in heaven. Every deed of mercy makes music there.